What you doing? Is you ready to box? You ready to fight? Who you gonna fight? You. <laughs> you bugging on dad. Okay. <laughs> the peoples. Mm-hmm. They all peoples. You fighting all peoples? Yes. Okay. Come on, let's fight. And money. And money. We ain't got none. Come on, we'll have to use our hand. Come on. Put them up. Man, I'm this. Yeah. Put this, then my hand will hold. Yo, Jenny Gang, what it do? So, back with another Jenny Gang YouTube production. Hit the like button, y'all. It don't cost nothing. Subscribe to the channel and welcome to all my new subscribers. Turn on your post notifications so you can get my random uploads. So, first of all, Shout out to Uncle Skinny for getting the interview with Charleston White. Yes, this video is going to be about Charleston White, the controversial internet guru. <laughs> I believe he's from somewhere in Texas, very country. Think he done done a little bit of time for doing a robbery back in the day. They say he is snitch, but he says he was a kid and other people, you know, told. And, you know, I really don't get into all the street codes and all that because I think they're very stupid. However, if I were in the streets, I most definitely probably would go by their codes or whatever. So this particular video, I want to say my honest feelings on Charleston White. Initially, I put Charleston White in the same category as I put whack-ass Hassan Campbell. Yeah, it seemed like he was just rattling off stuff. It seems like he would just say stuff that don't make sense. It seems like he just say things that get people in the uproar. Now, some of that's still true, but a few months back, I listened to an interview or whatever it was. Charleston White was on Clubhouse talking to WAC 100 and a few other people. And if y'all been watching my videos, you should know I don't, I don't, I don't rock with WAC 100 because he's whack. Um, but the way he, um, read WAC 100 on this particular interview, told him off, told him gang culture was stupid, how races, other races bind together and then black people go against each other to, you know, what have you. That was a turning point for me when I started being like, I, right, so maybe everything that Charleston White, um, says isn't just you know bs or whatever and i started looking at him more as a person versus just an internet troll i don't like when he insults nipsey hustle but at the same time i understand he don't rock with gang culture i don't rock with gang culture um yeah that was a turning point for me so to see him now in a battle with rapper ti i definitely rocks with ti pretty sure <laughs> All of the, my lady subscribers on here, y'all know we rock with T.I., you know what I'm saying? We we rock with the music, we rock with that country slang, you know. I won't even get into it, but T.I. and Charleston White had a disagreement because T.I. has a son that is pretty much grown. I think when you're 18, you're grown. Yeah, you're still going to be under your parents, you know, probably their house and their rules. But T.I.'s son is a little out of control okay the video with him at waffle house where he's kind of trolling the waffle house workers saying you know you don't make this i got this much money this this that and the third you can pretty much see that he is very arrogant he probably treats every person under him like that you can see that he probably would crumble in a room full of other privileged children Take the fact that T.I. and Floyd Mayweather have had a past beef because I think Tiny kind of got tired of T.I.'s cheating and she started talking to another boss or whatever. King, the, the, the rhetoric that he spews out to people that are less fortunate than him, I don't think he can talk that same talk if he was in a room with Yaya. If y'all don't know who Yaya is, that's Floyd Mayweather's daughter. You know what I'm saying? Bring you down a size a little bit. Uh, I'm, I don't think everything is all bad with King. However, I got a 15-year-old daughter, and if she start acting like how King is acting, I'm going to check her, you know? Now, I'm never going to let no grown person check my 15-year-old daughter, but at the same time, 15 and 18, I think, is different. Also, 
it's just a lot of different dynamics that I feel like T.I. could have took a different approach versus trying to go against the internet instead of just saying like, hey, son, you're doing too much or whatever. Everybody know you rich. Everybody know who I am. They know who you are. We got a whole TV show. You embarrassing me and your mama. Instead of him doing that, he decided just to only address the, the trolls. Now, that's not to say that T.I. didn't address King behind closed doors, but in all of his responses, he just sounds like someone who's emotional and defensive and not taking any accountability for the fact that your son is out here running ratchet. Why is it that it seems like people who have a lot of privilege get money, like all these rappers and stuff, why does it seem like they're the first ones who ready to throw their life away? And all of us so-called regular people, we just out here chilling. And I, I do say regular. I, I'm trying to use the highest level of sarcasm when I say that. But to people like King, people like me, you, whoever, we're regular. We don't have shit going on because our daddy is not T.I. I disagree. It seems like y'all are the ones with all the problems and we out here cool. I ain't. I don't think I ever cussed out a Waffle House worker. I will get you told about my food, but it's never going to come from a place of I am better than you, whatever, whatever. My issue will be just the principle of why my food is effed up, okay? So, unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to go against the king of the south one. This one, it seemed like he just went for personal stuff. It seemed like he did the same thing King did. He started talking about what money he got and all this and that. And then the cry for help to other people to come out and support him. Bro, you the king. I, I mean, that's what you say. Why do you need anyone else's support? When I feel strongly about something, I just feel strongly about it. I don't really be giving a damn who agree or don't agree. If I'm wrong, I'll find out in due time. But one thing I don't never need is a witness to back me up on something that I feel like is 100%, you know, coming from a good place. T.I., you fumbled the bag on this one. Um, we tried to have your back when we seen you try to square up with Floyd Mayweather because I thought that it, that was kind of honorable because, you you know, we all knew you was, was going to get knocked out. But the fact that you was going to fight a trained fighter for your woman, I, you know, I think we like that. That was kind of impressive. But this right here, not so much. <sighs> Charleston White definitely gave y'all the business. He has been kind of giving you the business ever since. And what you have done inadvertently by making a call to other celebrities to come out and defend you, you have now put this man on another level. So Charleston White, I advise you to keep on with the way that you, you've been talking. You still talk in a troll nature or whatever, but some of the things you've been saying have been making a lot of sense. Um, especially the way you was talking on when you, my uncle Skinny interviewed you, you talked really, really calm and made a lot of sense. I mean, I just, I ain't even never heard him really even talk that calm, you know? But um, I said, keep doing your thing. Keep getting booked and busy. You know what I'm saying? Keep the R word out your mouth because, you know, um, that can definitely always be taken the wrong way. But other than that, yeah, T.I., just get your stuff together and, I don't know how much talking you can do to King at this point since he is kind of grown, but go ahead and talk to him before it's too late. You know what I'm saying? That's that's all I can say about that. Not being a hypocrite or nothing. I'm definitely still a T.I. fan, but I ain't like to... He handled that to me like a, a, a very emotional female to me. But let me know what y'all think. This is also a very controversial subject when you're talking about people's kids and you know, and stuff like that. But let me know what y'all think, gang. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you turn on post notifications so that you'll be able to get all of my random uploads.